who is Krishna? The question comes. People want to know who is this your Krishna you are worshipping? According to the highest authority in this universe, the highest authority in this universe is Brahmaji. He is the engineer of this universe. He created all the planetary systems and he created all the bodies that we see in this world. And according to Brahmaji, he says he sings a song. Ishwara Parama Krishna Sachit Ananda Vigraha Anandi Radhi Govinda Sarva Karanam Karanam. He says Krishna is the cause of all causes. He is beginningless. Even though he is the, the cause of everything, he is the source of everything, still he is beginningless. So Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead who is the cause of all causes. He's the origin of all, and for him, there is no other cause. This Krishna, he has so many forms, and he manifests himself according to the desires of his devotees. Different devotees want to see Krishna in different forms, and so Krishna manifests himself in those various forms to satisfy his devotees. So, if you want to realize who Krishna is, then you have to study the Bhagavad Gita, you have to study the Srimad Bhagavatam, you have to listen to the lectures of Srila Prabhupada, and gradually you can begin, you have to chant the holy names of Krishna, you have to follow the principles of Krishna consciousness, and you realize who Krishna is. Krishna is not a Hindu god. Krishna is a living God, he's a supreme God for all time to come, for all religions, for everybody. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says he is the father of all living entities. He says, Aham Sarvasya Prabhu Mata Sarvam Pravartate. I am the source of both the spiritual and the material worlds. So therefore, Krishna is the most beautiful personality. He has six opulences. In this world, everybody is running after wealth, fame, knowledge, beauty, strength, and renunciation. Everybody is running after these opulences. And when we find one person with a little bit of these opulences, he is so much glorified. But Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, has these six opulences in full. You cannot find any person in this world who has all the wealth of the world. You cannot find. You cannot find anybody in this world who is the most beautiful. And that beauty is eternal. Even the beauty queens, they get old and they die. You cannot find anybody in this world who can say he's the strongest. Even if he's the strongest, old age and disease will dismantle his strength and eventually he succumbs to death. If you see somebody who thinks he's the most knowledgeable, but sometimes he forgets himself. And you cannot find somebody who is the most renowned or the most famous. One famous man in another country is not known somewhere else. But for Krishna, he's the most famous. He's the most knowledgeable. He spoke Bhagavad Gita in one hour. And when you read the Bhagavad Gita, you can take a whole life to study the Bhagavad Gita. He's spoken in one hour. He was not looking into any book. And that shows his level of knowledge. Krishna is the most beautiful. Normally when people see Krishna, they, they say, who is this beautiful lady? Because of his beauty. And his beauty is fresh. It is not subject to old age. It is not subject to disease. It is not subject to death. So Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead who has a six opulences in full. And that is why we accept him as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Thank you.